quantum physics. So this is not as crazy as, as this, but it is <laughs> crazy and hard to understand, but uh, maybe I can tell you a little bit more about that after we discuss a little bit about the movement. Okay, well, why don't we get, the, uh, why don't we get started uh, with, with some questions? Uh, Matt, go ahead. Well, What's your impression from, I mean, how would you relate this to science and alternate realities and like string theory, all that? I mean, what is your impression of the movie and how it fits with science? Uh, well, string theory is a theory which hasn't been uh, tested in experimentally. Is that so, a movie then? Yeah, it, it, string theory has something about like parallel universes and, and so on and so on crazy stories, but it's not something that we have, we have tested or, or seen anywhere. So, so far it's a theory, it's a belief. So I don't see it really as science, uh, but more like, more like math. Once it is tested, then uh, we, we, we'll call it a, a physical, physical theory. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, we don't have a test where you have two parallel universes where it turns out that the young guy, since he's the old guy in the other story, and the young guy here is the old guy in the other story, and then they are like a cross. No? Yeah. That's what we, we see here. Yeah. Uh, in string theory, you see that only like, in extreme circumstances, circumstances in the universe, which we haven't seen yet. But maybe maybe one day, and, but not, not in, in the near future. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> maybe. Do we have a question? Go ahead, guys. This is your opportunity to ask. Anything you can think of. I can advertise you CSD, too. Any English? Any English? Okay, we have one here. Go ahead. Is there another question? Okay. Entonces, sabemos, yo creo que todos hemos escuchado acerca del triángulo de las Bermudas. ¿Qué es lo que ustedes, a qué es lo que ustedes han llegado a sus experimentos hasta hoy en día? Lo que sé del Triángulo de las Bermudas es un documental que vi en Discovery Channel y lo que dicen ahí es que hay, hay condiciones eh, climatológicas especiales. La razón por la que no encuentran los aviones, barcos que, que naufragan ahí es porque hay un, un desfiladero eh, submarino. Entonces todos los, todos los eh, que se pierden se van hasta el fondo y es muy difícil llegar ahí y accesar. No hay, no, hay nada, no hay nada extraño realmente. Es, es. Bueno, bueno, punto de vista. Uh, pero alguna relación que tenga que ver con metafísica o, o quantic? O no, no. no. A ver, yo, me gustaría, por ejemplo, sí. mandar un avión y ver que se pierde y seguirlo. Y eso sería un experimento, sería, sería algo más, este, una ciencia física donde puedes hacer, repetirlo y ver, ver el efecto y, y darle seguimiento. Pero si tienes eventos que son eh, fuera de control, es, es más difícil. Eh, eso es el punto de vista. Gracias. Uh, más relacionado a la película, uh -huh. no, no, no entendí muy bien la parte porque le, le, ya cuando estaba de viejo le decía que no, no te entres al, al, al elevador, no te metas al carro del policía, eh, no entendí por qué le... Ah, esos son como los eventos que causan que haya un, un incidente. Que continúe la cadena de incidentes. Exacto. O sea, si ellos no, si no se metían al, al carro del policía, no se metían al elevador, ¿eso iba a parar? Sí, porque básicamente no, no se convertiría en el, en el viejo de la otra, la otra historia. Entonces ya son como dos historias, y en una el joven cuando se suba a la patrulla se convierte el que es el, el que es el viejo en la otra historia y de, de, de otra forma el que es el joven aquí al subirse al elevador se convierte el viejo en la otra historia. O sea, Entonces, se hubiera arreglado todo tal vez si no se hubieran pues, no se hubiera arreglado pero quizás no hubiera quedado este, ahí mismo en ese... no hubieran atrapado a alguien más en la historia. Uh -huh. sí. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a time trap. So here we're first of all, we're trapping this movie theater and yes. you move and you reach an end, no? In that case, they were like a... So does it impact our perception like a person is in trap in like a mentally, mentally. I don't know, mentally? Or maybe like when you go to sleep and you sleep that you're sleeping and then you cannot wake up. Has, 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 have you had that before? No. Yes, uh, yeah. this is really so like, like you're trapped in, in your dream. It's kind of like a, a terror movie because of a god that I 
Yeah, they introduce here an incident that makes you nervous and there's some uh, time crisis that people are d dying. And, yeah. That's some emotional, they call about emotional. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that, this is more like the art part of the movie. So it's not <laughs> Okay, let's, let's try someone else and then... Uh, eh, digamos, yo, yo conozco tres dimensiones, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. De espacio, y después uh -huh. hay dimensión de tiempo. Uh -huh. Para usted, ¿cuáles cuál son las otras dimensiones que hay? Y las puede explicar. Es decir, yo siempre he escuchado eh, que como, hay dimensiones. Como, pero, como físico, sí, eh, físico. Solo, hay, solo hay cuatro. Ya. Porque es lo que podemos ver, controlar y medir. Ya. Una vez que haya experimentos que muestran que hay otra, entonces como físico... Ah, entonces como físico... Solo hay cuatro dimensiones. Hay cuatro dimensiones nomás. Que, que se han probado. Sí, ah, sí, sí. bueno. Entonces cuando hablan de otras dimensiones, eso es como... De otra... Son teorías que no están probadas. Ah, ya. Eh, en la física hay distintas las fuerzas, la fuerza eléctrica, el, el uh -huh. magnética, imanes. El, eh, y los modelos tratan de reducirlo a un modelo más sencillo. Y cuando tratan de hacer esa, esa simplificación, ese reduccionismo, eh, llega un momento en que no lo pueden hacer, entonces eh, agregan otra dimensión que, que trata de unificar todo, todo esta, esta, este modelo. Y ahí es donde introducen otras dimensiones, pero aún no hay este, prueba. Eh, lo de, los experimentos en CERN, que es el bosón de Higgs, que están un poco relacionados, pero no es una prueba contundente. ¿Por qué crees que hay un montón de botellas de vino y un montón de sándwiches? Creo que fue una máquina de vino. Pero solo hay una máquina de vino. Sí, creo que fue. Bueno, cuando tomas una botella aquí, pero cuando vuelves, es la misma vino antes de que tomas la botella. Like the, the next day. So when when you come came to, yeah, to the next. Uh, yeah. Same thing with the castings. Right? Yeah. So it's uh, all in the same relationship. Yes. Although although there's a there's a flow because in the when you come back there was there was trash. So yeah. the trash is from the so that's that's what yeah I agree is confusing. The trash is from where you were there before, but the machine itself is. is uh, I'm sorry, the other way around. The machine itself is when you were there before. But the things around uh, change. Yeah. So I think so yeah. 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 There are many things that are. Uh, uh, so the re related to the what you're talking about the vending machine, mm -hmm. that was something that was part of the building, right? Part of the stairs. But uh, something similar, which was the red part of the jeep. Which never broke down. Yeah. But the car was, never, was not. I don't think the car was part of it. But then they had these more cars. You know, they had like five, six of the same car in there. When they got to the gas station, mm -hmm. there were like more than one. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, they were Jeeps. Yeah, they were Jeeps yeah. yeah, around at the beginning. But what I'm saying is that the vending machine was part of that infrastructure, right? Mm -hmm. The building. However, on the other story, the other story, the car wasn't part of it. Wasn't part of the, of the That's true. It was part of the people you know, who brought it in, yeah. So the, the car, it didn't, it didn't, make, it didn't make sense to me why there were more than one car. Uh, but at yeah, the same no, time, there were not enough cars for, pre, there were not like 360 times 35 cars in there. Yeah. There yeah. were like a million cars, so it means like it's going to every single day. The thing about the infinite road, you, you can have that you can have that physically if it's a small planet, no? And you could go around. So that's more realistic. So gravitationally you can go around fine. But the stairs, that's a little more uh, it's like the Escher uh, stairs, no? The painting. Like the hamster. All or like a hamster. I think it was Joe. Yes. Was the, the book joint in time or uh, well, I, 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 I shit it because I watched it before, so I look it up. <laughs> it's a movie from the 60s. Uh, some guy that uh, wins the lottery every every year or all the time, and it's some similar story struck in some. There's some old guy. I didn't read the book, I only read the summary. Description. Description. It's, it's along those lines. What's the name of it? A joint time or a theory? Time out of the joint. 
Yeah. But that sounds like getting out of like jail. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I could, I could answer your question. It, oh, okay. it's, a, it's a novel by Philip K. Dick. Oh, okay. He's a science fiction writer. Uh -huh. And it's just a, it's a short story. Okay. Okay. So is there a Gale in the story? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just keeps repeating. It's just the same name as the movie. Did you have a question? I have a question. I do not know what quantum physics is. What is that? Please Something really strange. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, luckily, it doesn't happen at our scales. So it happens at very small scales, but with uh, light, with particles of light. And uh, what's the purpose of studying that? So for example, what I worked before in my, in my PhD, which I, did, I didn't mention that, I did that in Illinois, uh, we worked with something called entanglement. What was that? Entanglement. Okay. So in that case, uh, light is made out of particles. Mm -hmm. They are called photons, you know, it's just some particles. And the trick there is that you can have a place where you meet two particles, and then you measure them uh, they are far away, and you measure some property. And as soon as you measure it in this place, you will have the same property in this other place for the other party. Is it mirroring each other? Kind of, but uh, so let's, let's say I have two coins, and I send two coins away, and and they are uh, they are flipping along the way. And as soon as you look at one and say, say it's head, the other one will be head as well. Mm -hmm. If it's tails, the other one will be tails as well. And this has applications for quantum cryptography. So no matter how much your computer decodes uh, and messages, it's impossible because it's protected by laws of physics. Mm -hmm. oh, so that, that's one of the uh, applications. So of, uh, there's many more then? Yes, you can do, for example, in my next postdoc in Austria, we did something called quantum computers. Mm -hmm. So this property of having uh, uh, photons or, or other particles uh, in arbitrary states uh, they can help you do computation faster. So instead of, for example, having zeros and ones, uh -huh. you can have all possible combinations of zeros and ones at the same time and do the computation much faster. It's like doing it in, in parallel. That's a very hand waving, uh, uh, so uh, but that's the, the spirit of it. So is it like energy that's that out there that's just everything's like? Double-sided in the universe? No, no, it's not. It's not energy. It's just a property of, of the particles, and it only happens in very small particles and very isolated for environment. So quantum properties usually happen at very, very small scales, but that we see the effects when we when we measure them. For for us to be uh, to have quantum properties, we would have to be very, very cold, like uh, zero temperature, and that doesn't happen. So I, I try to work uh, with uh, atoms instead of light, or many atoms, and then I cool them, and then I see quantum properties in uh, clouds of atoms. Mm -hmm. That's the most, the, high, the largest thing we can do in quantum physics. We're trying to see how that connects to the classical world that we see. Okay, well. You have uh, questions? Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, please, at uh, UCSD, uh, we have a, a, a lot of uh, fellowships for uh, uh, students uh, with uh, diverse backgrounds. So if you have uh, good grades, please, young people, study. And we can guarantee uh, scholarships. And also, we have support from the Mexican consulate for fellowships for students in the summer. So uh, uh, if you come from diverse backgrounds, uh, please, uh, we, are, we are there to support you. And that's, that's one of the missions I have in, at the university. To, uh, are you part of the STARS program? No, no. Oh, okay. so there's uh, some excellence uh, program. Oh. Uh, so UCSD, what, is, is what department is the staff science department? Or? I'm in the physics department. Physics. We need to spread the word. We need more scientists, people of color. Yeah, go to STM. To make it more diverse. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll support you. We'll, we'll help you out. <laughs> For sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.